Hello and welcome back to our Stationeer's Mars Getting Started Guide. I'm your host Chromeforks and today we shall be building the lights because, well, honestly, I got tired of constantly, you know, having to re-battery my, you know, backpack and making sure that I have enough light. So I figured might as well install a few lights in this episode and then in the next one we will I will show you how to automate them so that you don't have to constantly you know flip the switches on off on off but you will use the information from the light sensor to actually activate it when the nighttime comes but I'm getting ahead of myself right now I want to be installing some lights in my base and if you have been following this playthrough this is actually rather a short episode but we will be also, I'll be showing you how to build the lights, connect them, and making sure that they look nice. So, stick around, this is gonna be fun, although pretty basic. Right, so, with that thing being said, I'm just making sure that I'm feeding enough into this hydraulic pipe bender. By the way, guys, I asked you in the previous episode, what did I forget? And, well... It's not just the pipes, hint, but actually the radiators and the idea to actually make the lights came from exactly this moment when my battery in my back thingy died. So I figured, you know, first I was thinking I'm gonna do, you know, something with heating or, you know, with exhaust gases, radiators, and then my light died and I said, you know, bang it, dang it, I want to make another lights so that I don't have to worry about my, you know, rear light. Right, so with that thing being said, let's now switch to the radiators. But first, I need to exchange my light source. Yeah, it's frustrating, I know. Switch the battery, put in the battery, take the thing, put it in the back. Okay, now it works better. Thank you, I want to be seeing what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, I've turned off the main light. Good, now let's take on the radiator and let's produce, I think we can produce uh, four. Two. Three. Four, there we go. Yeah, we cannot produce anymore. There we go. So, yeah, uh, if I don't do this, the hot gases from the furnace will go directly into the waste tank. And we want them to cool off just a little so they don't come, you know, too hot. So here is actually me building a cooling tower. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Then we'll build these guys. And now I want to be, oh, did I put that one too high? I think I did. Okay, disassemble and make it curved and put them together. There we go, and there we go. Beautiful. So with that thing being said, I want to be placing radiators on top of these things. So turn it like this and you like this like this and like this there we go now here we have a small cooling tower which I don't need it to cool the gases a lot I just need to cool them a little bit and that should be more than enough that thing being said now let's spit out all the in components and make ourselves some lights electronics printer there we go I could have done something more, but honestly, guys, I'm just lazy and I don't really feel like going on all-out trip and doing everything. So, this thing being said, let's take the kit lights and just crank them. One. I'm thinking of going with three, two, and one more. Three. There we go. Good enough. Stop. Thank you. So the idea is that I want to be um, yeah, cable coil. Yeah, that's the word. Print them. 
So I want to be placing the lights here, two outside and one on the inside. So you rotate like this. I want to be using the long wall lights. So one here, one over here, and then one will be placed inside. There we go. Perfect. Just need some cable coils and then connect the whole damn shenanigan. There we go. You can connect like this, you can connect like that. Okay, I think that should be enough cable coil. Right, there we go. Let's connect it with this one and then we shall be connecting the whole thing. Come on. I want to see my lights in action, please. Close this off, it bu bugs my OCD to no, no avail. There we go, here we go, beautiful, connect, connect, and then we will be connecting it to the outlet from this whole thing. Yeah, and right now I'm a little bit concerned because I'm running everything at a single switch, as a single network. That's not something that I intended, but, and, you know, for the time being it will be fine. Later on, I'll probably make it more advanced. And there we go, look, and there be light. Now, that being said, I want to go up and I want to put another light inside, inside of my hydroponic thingy. So I'm gonna be placing those here, curve, there we go, and another curve down, and then I just need to stick the light on top of it and everything will be groovy. There we go, get inside. Now guys, there's a trivia for you. I did here make one tiny error and why it wouldn't work with fully with automation and I want you guys to tell me what it is until you see the next episode. Until then, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.